As we continue our exploration of ARG format and its impact on competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Only three weeks after releasing their first custom ban list, a new ARG ban list was released on July 27th, 2015. Wind Up Hunter was now banned from the ARG competitive circuit. Sure It, Strategist of the Necroz was now limited to one copy per deck. Debris Dragon and Deep Sea Diva were now semi-limited to two copies. And El Shadal Construct, Necroz of Unicor, and Wind Up Magician were now all unlimited to to three copies. Additionally, the next Yu-Gi-Oh! core set, Clash of Rebellions, was released on August 7th, 2015, introducing a handful of new cards to shake up the format, whether you played Konami format or ARG format. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in, because anything is possible. Welcome! to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Alex Simo, and I have ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a chronic inflammatory disease that affects the lining of the colon, causing the formation of small sores and ulcers, as well as a plethora of debilitating symptoms. I've lived with this miserable disease for 15 years, and there does not yet exist a cure. That's why for the month of December, I'm helping raise both money and awareness for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation so that no one has to suffer like I have. For every milestone achieved through your donations, I'll be making dedicated videos for your enjoyment. All proceeds will go directly to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Click the links down below to donate now and to learn more about my story with ulcerative colitis. Together, we will find a cure. Well, that last one was embarrassing. Denko Seka, my old nemesis, you've stolen a best of three out from under my nose again. So we're sticking with ARG for at least one more episode. That's because in the wake of Nationals and Worlds, there really weren't YCSs going on. As a result, we are going to be examining what happened at the Metro Series Ohio. Now this event was played under an additional ARG ban list. As mentioned previously, after every ARG CS event, they took a hard look at the ban list, and as a result, on July 27th, made some changes. Necroz of Unicor was put to three and short strategist of the Necroz to one. This forced Necroz players to get even more creative and resourceful with the use of their individual ritual monsters, leading to Xavier Felice's deck that you see in front of you. I have never, ever played Necroz of Cataster, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Now, two important things were happening at the same time as the ARG Metro series in Ohio. Firstly, the release of Clash of Rebellions. This set had just come out. It was brand new. Many people hadn't even read the cards. And some of those cards were the Cosmos. Now, they didn't have very powerful options like Dark Destroyer just yet, but Farm Girl and Forerunner was enough to walk over almost any of the modern metagame. Certainly, this neutered version of Necroz. Cataster just couldn't keep up. And secondly, a very nasty rumor about the ARG CS list began to percolate. Because ARG employed such a huge number of professional players and vendors, people began to think that maybe there was an ulterior motive for the banlist's constant changes. Potentially, pro players concerned about status could use advanced knowledge of the banlist to widen the gap between the average Andy and themselves. Playtesting in an environment that existed post-list only they knew about. And vendors had an even bigger incentive. For example, if they knew that Necroz of Unicor would be going back to 3 shortly, they would pick up individual copies from players who would shave them from their deck after its limit, just to offload them for a ton of money once players were scrambling for two additional copies. To my knowledge, none of this was ever proven, but it's important to mention that the community had begun to sour on the concept of the ARGCS list. Let's go through the Necroz list real quick because it does deserve a little bit of discussion. Uh, obviously we're playing 3 Valkyris, 3 Unicor, Gungnir, Decisive Armor, Double Colossalus, Double Brio. Cataster is a truly terrible card, but it's in here because Exa Enforcer of the Necroz is as well, and there's really only one Dragon Ritual. We're playing these three Manju, the three Senju, two Denko Seka, still a lot of back row decks in the format, as well as the staple six spells. We're on triple reinforcement of the army trying to find Shorit, and we've got two copies of Breakthrough Skill as well. We're playing some strange normals in here. A great Sorcerer of the Necroz is good to find additional copies of Unicor. His stats line up pretty favorably with trying to make rank fours to 
go over the top of some archetypes. And Puppet Plant in the main was actually frighteningly common at this time. You can see we're playing two additional copies in the sideboard. Speaking of the sideboard, we are also playing one copy of Beast, one copy of Dragon, and three Shadow Fusion if our opponent goes into the extra deck. And of course, Fairy Winds for Pendulum decks and Mind Crush for anyone who searches. In the extra, not too much worth discussing, but the Abyss Dwellers, of course, are strong enough that we are playing two copies and we do need to shave some space for the El Shadals. As you can see by the state of this list, Necroz is in dire straits, and it's about to run face-to-face -face into a matchup I believe the players at this event straight up were not prepared for. Remember, there was no advance warning of Cosmo. As soon as we got the set spoiler, that was it. So it's no surprise that the pros that can make decisions on a dime were mostly the only ones representing the pile, and they represented it really well. Here's Alex with one of those. I don't know how we won last episode. I mean, it's truly a miracle. Maybe Necroz is just good enough to carry any bad Yu-Gi-Oh player, regardless of what cards are limited or not. But we're continuing our exploration of the ARG format, and now we introduce Clash of Rebellion. This set actually introduced a lot of really cool cards, and one of the archetypes I remember very fondly, because this deck was a lot of fun, I played this very actively at Locals, Cosmo. Cosmo is an archetype that is like the crossover between Star Wars and the Wizard of Oz, and that aside, I didn't really have a particular interest in either. I just thought the cards themselves and like how they worked were pretty cool and the artwork was kind of sick as well. So let's go ahead and go over the individual Cosmo cards before we discuss the actual strategy here. So this was a TCG exclusive that introduced five brand new cards into the game. There was Farm Girl, Good Witch, Slip Rider, the Forerunner, as well as the Cosmo Town. Farm Girl and Good Witch are the pilots of the Cosmo archetype. So they both have the respective effect that during either player's turn, so it is a quick effect, you can banish this card from the field, special summon a level of a Cosmo monster from your hand that is higher than the monster you're banishing. So I worded that weirdly because they both have the same effect, but they have different levels. So Farm Girl can special summon a level four or higher Cosmo from your hand, and Good Witch can special summon a level five or higher Cosmo from your hand. Then they each have their own ability. Farm Girl, when it inflicts battle damage, you can pay 500 to add a Cosmo card from your deck to your hand, and Good Witch, once per turn, you can pay 500 to target a face of monster your opponent controls, change it to face down defense position. So a Rota and a Book of Moon is in a bad start. Then we have the ships. Slip Rider and Forerunner. Slip Rider on normal or special summon targets a spell or trap card on the field and destroys it. And Forerunner, uh, during your standby phase, you gain 1,000 life points. It also cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects, and this is 2,800 attack. Then they each have their respective effects, similar to like Farm Girl and Good Witch. Instead of summoning up, they actually summon lower, but they can summon from the deck, which is what makes them really powerful. So Forerunner can special summon a level six or lower Cosmo monster from your deck when it's destroyed by battle or card effect. You banish it as well once you do that. And Slip Rider, same thing, except it's only four or lower. So instead of going higher than the level of the monster, the ships are lower than the level of the monster. But again, they summon from the deck, which means you don't need to have the monsters already in your hand. So you effectively can create some nice resource loops just with these four cards alone, but then it all gets tied in a nice pretty bow with the deck's field spell, Cosmo Town. So Cosmo Town has three effects. The first effect, once per turn, you can target a banished Cosmo, add it to your hand, and if you do lose life points equal to it times 100, so basically this is a plus one every single turn, as long as you have Cosmo monsters banished. The second effect is that you can reveal any number of Cosmos from your hand, shuffle them into the deck, then draw the same number of cards. This is a mulligan, essentially, that you can do every single turn. This also helps you don't brick on some of your Cosmo cards, because sometimes you may have too many pilots or too many ships, and you want to make sure you have the right balance. And the third effect is if it's destroyed in the field zone, you can add a Cosmo card from your deck to your hand. So this is fantastic, because that means that this card replaces itself. You can slip right or pop your own Cosmo Town to get some value there. Just a fantastic field spell for an archetype. It's not like an immediate plus one, like something like Light Stage or Spiral Resort or something like that, but it constantly gets you advantage every single turn. Has two other effects as well, which are also quite good, and just overall a great start for a brand new TCG exclusive archetype. Now, one of the problems of this archetype is that since there's only like five cards, you can only play three copies per card, you need to fill in the rest of the deck, right? So since Farm Girl's effect to add relies on it doing damage, then the easy in here is something like Honest, which since Farm Girl is a light, this synergizes with quite well. There's also the newly released Jura Gato. If you remember this from the anime, this is one of Merrick's cards, actually. This is a very interesting card. So during the battle step as a quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, gain a thousand life points. You can use this effect of Jura Gato once per turn. And then quick effect, you can tribute this card, target a face of monster you control. It gains a thousand attack until the end of the next turn. So this isn't honest, but the nice thing here is that it's like a mini honest for any of your monsters because it doesn't have the light conditioning like honest.
this does. It's also just another body you can throw onto the field as well, just for extra damage. This was a really hyped up card on release. I think copies of this went for like 20 or $30. And this was the only deck that honestly ever played this that had any competitive relevance. I'm fairly certain, but uh, very funny at the time, but it makes sense if you're trying to trigger Farm Girl as many times as possible. This deck's also on Gores because aside from the field spell, you're never gonna really have anything else on the board. And so Gores is just a nice giant thing you can drop down to really just get the pressure on your opponent. And then we have Maxi because it's Maxi. So that's it from the monsters. The spells, we have Book of Moon, Double Dark Hole. Uh, Farm Girl is a psychic level three. So very funny that e Telly actually fits very well with, with this deck. We have the three field spell. Limiter removal is also hilarious because this doubles the attack of our ships to make them just gigantic, but also destroys them in the end phase. So if we don't OTK our opponent, this actually just floats into another ship. So it's actually perfectly fine. Even if we don't use this as a kill shot, we have the Regeki. Double Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. You can use this to get rid of like your Forerunners or your Gorses and draw more cards, I guess. I don't really like this, but I mean, Jeff Jones, you know, is definitely on a much better level of playing this game than I am. So I'll take his word for it. Triple Shared Ride. Necroz is the deck you're afraid of the most. And this deck has a little bit of a consistency problem. So having this card in here makes sense. And Double Trenchal Tribute as the only trap card, because guess what? Anything that dies in here that's a giant ship, it just floats into something else. So we don't really care. We're actually going to probably actually be ahead after Torrentialing. So that's pretty good. The extra deck's kind of neat. So we have Ancient Fairy and Ancient Pixie Dragon in here, as well as Black Rose and High Speed Run Kendama. Uh, there's no native tuner in here. The tuner actually is Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit coming out of the side. I think uh, Cycle Reader, yes, yeah, Cycle Reader is a tuner as well. So I guess that could maybe come up. But it's nice because Ghost Ogre is a psychic, so you can actually summon it off of e Telly and access some level sevens because a lot of your deck is level four. So that's kind of neat. Then we have Dweller. Castel, Pleiades, Exoton, Cowboy, Levier, Dracosec, Fortune Tune, uh, Volcasaurus, a Rhapsodian Berserk, and Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This is actually one of the new Xyz from Clash of Rebellion. This card is sort of Gaga Ga Cowboy, but not really. So it doesn't immediately kill the opponent, but if you are summoning this, you probably have your opponent on a low enough life total that if they activate one or two cards, they lose the game. So it's effectively winning you the game because this thing is like really difficult to deal with. Uh, then we have the side. Triple Cycle Reader is in here as well as Triple Flying Sea, Double Ghost Ogre, Double Retaliation, Retaliating C again, Necroz, and I guess should all as well. And then we have triple MST and double Royal Decree. This is one of the first incarnations of Cosmo. And as we get more support over the next coming sets, the deck's going to continue to evolve and you get to see the monstrosity becomes later on. Let's see how it fares against Necroz. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do it. Make it stop, Joseph. Please make it stop. I know. Like I'm just so sick of Necroz at this point. Oh my god. Well, uh, thankfully, this is, I believe, the last time we have is to it? deal with it. Uh, there's like, it, it, it morphs a little bit after this into like perform age Necroz, but that's it. We've got maybe one more total. Listen, I love playing Necroz. I have a good time doing so, but there's only so much of it you can take, and I am I am at my wit's end. These last couple of episodes haven't been going fantastically for me either. So um <laughs> I mean that's just Thankfully it's I've got I've got a great 100% win rate versus Cosmo. Now, I'm pretty sure, I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure Trishula matches up really well against all the Cosmo ships. Yes, So yes. I think we'll Especially be Especially considering it's not legal, but... Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> details, details. Yeah, details. It's so weird. Like, I know a lot of people love this format, and maybe we're just built different, which, to be fair, we are. I don't know. I feel like I was enjoying my time in ruler format a lot more than this, and I can't put my finger on it as to why. There's just something about, the, about playing that. I like all the other decks this format sans Necroz. There's just something about Necroz that I just do not enjoy, but maybe yeah. that's just us. Maybe that's just us. And thankfully, I'm not playing it this episode. I get to play one of the fun new decks of the format. So let's get into it. Shout out the patron. It is the derpiest of derps. That's a good one. Thanks for the support. All right, buddy. Got the hand up. Yes. I rolled a three. Odd. Even. I did even. I'm just 100% on uh, die rolls recently. Yeah, uh, fully for you're 100% on me. fucking winning, which isn't happening, but Jesus. No, it all is right. not. Best of luck. May the gauge sleeves bring you tunneling prowess. Oh, whoa, they really did. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, your Cosmo. Well, I wouldn't know that blind, so we'll play as if I don't know. Does that change oh. your opening play necessarily? I guess, yeah, probably. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Abs Gee, do I want to go for Unicorn versus the deck on zero extra deck monsters? Not sure. I mean, you still might want to go for Unicorn anyway. <coughs> just saying, Manju's fine. Brio. Sure. Brio. You know what? I'm not going to grab Brio. I'm going to conserve my Brio. Are you? Grab Unicorn, yeah. <laughs> okay. You have three uh, of this card now. Must be nice. <laughs> oh, must be nice. Clausalus. Sure. Uh, we'll grab Kaleidoscope. Sure. 
What a fun opening play. This is like exactly the same. I'm Maxi. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm, you're, you're just gonna get the one. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's go Harold here. Uh, we'll get Bryo. Okay. Well, I I feel pretty good about myself. Uh, you can go ahead. Okay, you already have the Valken hand, is what that means. Uh, no. I'll draw. <laughs> Main yeah. phase one. No, uh, no. let's just dark hole. Yeah, I mean, sure. Farm girl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you got a Valk. In. I do have a Valk. I have a Valk. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Jesus. All Christ. right. So you stop me from popping the off. Pedal to the metal good. here. Yeah. Uh, I will set one and pass. Uh, we're going to Valk a little differently. I, I'm like, oh, we got to retain Klaus in graveyard for uh, for Trish. No, we don't. This one's kind of weird, actually. Uh, let's go Kaleidoscope here. I will change Shared Ride. Shared Ride! Wow. You, you're going to draw like nine cards here. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. It's mirror here that's fine shared ride really fucks me up here um it's not a bad card <laughs> wow it's it's legitimately like an ftk uh just keep going just keep going what are you afraid of you have brio discard that too i can't pass back with a farm girl on field <laughs> how about how about unicorn you've got that in your hand too <laughs> i wish i had unicorn in my hand that would make this whole thing a lot easier go ahead <laughs> okay so i know the hand is brio <laughs> mirror yeah what the fuck are you setting like one of the fucking manjus or like sure it or something all right i'll draw main one i'm ge i'm just genuinely curious what you're actually setting in this deck uh i will go to battle phase i am going to now to attempt to activate Juragato. uh yeah so this is during the battle step i can special summon this guy this card is so bad but back in the day we thought I this mean, card here was it's crazy. gonna be pretty crazy yeah uh so we'll go <laughs> in yeah it was just send you Okay, so trying to 15... prevent this interaction exactly from happening. Yes. Uh, so then we will use Farm Girl since we inflicted damage to you. I can pay five and I can add a Cosmo from deck to hand. And uh, are you dead? Oh, without Dark Destroyer, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be very funny. No, I don't think you're dead, sadly. Uh, I think we probably just get the big fucker. Sure. Let's get the Forerunner. Sure. And then I will use Farm Girl's other effect. Vanisher will bring out the <laughs> Forerunner. Yep. Uh, second main, that's all I got. Go ahead. Stand by main. Yep. Now you Bryo. can do some popping off. I'm trying. Bryo's fine. Uh, it has to be Unicor, sadly. Uh, Kaleido. No response. Unicor. Herald. Oh no, my extra deck monsters. Yeah, that's fine. We want to get decisive armor here, but that seems like really not good. Oh, I wish I had just fired that Bryo like two turns ago instead of holding it. Would really resolve a lot of problems for me right now. <laughs> we'll just grab Valk again. Sure. Uh, I'll go to combat here. I'm going to attempt to walk into Jared Gato. I guess I'll just use his effect. I'll pump the Forerunner. Just dodge uh, the damage. We'll set one and pass. Back row? Yeah. What kind of deck are you playing? Uh, standby <laughs> phase. I gain a thousand life points. Woo! You do. You do. And that's time in the round, although I'm way ahead on life points anyway. Uh, we got to get rid of the Valk, so let's just do fine, it. Fine, fine. Uh, we'll banish Kaleidoscope here. Uh, that's all I got. Standby main. Oh, yep. okay. You know, it's funny. Like, most people remember Cosmo and, like, Dark Destroyer is the first card that comes to mind. Forerunner is still an asshole just because he can't be targeted. <laughs> <laughs> Forerunner's crazy, yeah. He really, really cannot be targeted. And that's like what every rank four does. Where's Diamond Crab King when you need him? <laughs> I like how we've seen Diamond Crab King more in other episodes besides the one where it actually matters. <laughs> okay, so Forerunner can float into anything, right? Not Dark Destroyer, but that card's not out yet. It can float into every card that's currently printed at this point, yes. Okay, this is not ideal. Um, we're going to activate Cycle here. Gonna grab Valk off of uh, Unicor and Great Sorcerer. Okay. Uh, Sork effect. Does trigger it. Yep. I haven't really seen much of this guy oh, in the joy. 9 million episodes. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> the card's there's a, crazy. There's a couple of really cool guys. I could get Gungnir here. I was about to say Gungnir. What are the other targets? It's Gungnir. What, what other yeah. spellcaster? Is that it? Uh, you can get Unicorn as well. Oh, but... Unicorn's a spellcaster. Yeah, and it's at three. So it's I important. mean, technically you could also get Valk. Just don't know how good that is. Probably better than anything else. We'll grab Valk here. Sure. 
All right, so this affords you a flip back into anything. Yeah, I'll help you out here. The ones that are out are Farm Girl, Good Witch, Slip Rider, Forerunner. Yeah, I am going to go here. Okay, well, fucking Valk this idiot. supposed to do exactly versus this <laughs> oh geez. i mean i think you do what you're supposed to do in losing that yeah. that was what my plan was but uh we're gonna go manju here maybe this will go sure. a little different uh i mean in all fairness i did max c shared ride you yeah that's true uh we'll so go manju that didn't exactly work in your favor into brio doing this on turn one this time that's fine we'll go brio here uh we're gonna grab unicorn uh, we're going to pitch Clausalis for Kaleido. Uh, we're going to activate Kaleido. I'm Maxi again. Would you like to draw your card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get the boy out, and then we will Herald. Uh, we'll get Valk here. Makes sense to me. To the hand, please. All right. Back to you. Draw. <laughs> Stand by main. All good. Uh, uh, we'll go normal farm girl. Yeah. There is a possibility you don't draw these cards. Yeah, there is, uh, but not today. We'll attack. We'll Valk. Okay. Uh, I will chain my farm girl. Uh, that's fine. So this blanks the Valk. Bring out Slip Rider. That's completely okay. Crash into Unicorn. Yep. I'll take... Uh, how much Nothing. here? Nothing. Yeah. Uh, uh, activate Slip Rider. Yep. Get another farm girl. Yep. Attack. Agony. True agony. Activate farm girl. I'll take a hundred here. Yep. Get Forerunner. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, I already used her tag out effect, so I cannot get in the extra damage if I would like to. But uh, second main, I'll just set one, and good luck. Okay, standby main. Rhoda. Shared ride. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will take my card. Maxi uh, shared ride farm girl two games in a row. Real, very interesting matchup. This is it. I'm sorry. Uh, thinking on Ed's step here. Do I want to tag out the farm girl? I kind of don't. I kind of want to keep her. I out. was gonna say you're fine. I'll draw. Yeah. yeah. Stand by main. Uh, we'll bring out Good Witch. We'll bring out another one. Oh, okay. Uh, I also have Jurigato. Oh, cool. Tag. All right, dumb fuck. It's sure it. <laughs> Take a hundred. Oh shit, he's eighteen. He's no, big. he's a big boy. <laughs> All right, uh, so then we will go effect to pump Good Witch. Yeah. <laughs> attack with Good Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15. Yep. I will pay five. Yep. I will uh, grab myself. I think I'm just uh, barely not dead here. I think, yeah, I don't think you're dead. If I mean, you you're have very close. a second of one of the ships or a Good Witch in hand, then I'm dead. Do I have a level seven? I can oh, this is actually hilarious. <laughs> okay. Uh, activate. Yeah. Bring out Forerunner. Yeah. 28. Yeah. Uh, activate. Whoops. Yep. Vanish this. 28. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Main two. Oh, these are sevens. Flare metal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good luck. Stand by main. Yep. I do have a way to out this, but it's okay. going to require you to do nothing for a turn. <laughs> okay. I'll draw. Yeah. Good witch. Okay. You win. Okay. Oh <laughs> God. Well, those were uh, those were close. <laughs> you want to do game three? You want to run it back where I don't yeah, open yeah, Max C? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, Max C didn't matter. Max C was just upstart. Shared ride is a turn in. Okay, buddy. It's 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 a new game. There's the possibilities are yeah, endless yeah, yeah. here. I'm gonna try going <laughs> second. Hope. I feel like maybe I can make you brick with one fewer card. Oh, that was not the right move. Holy shit. Oh, you made me go first. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's my only out is you don't get the I, I will. I one. will say I, I did technically Ooh, brick okay. a bit. All right. If that is shared right, I will just shit my pants. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> 14. Go ahead. <laughs> You're right to shit your pants. Get yours! <laughs> this deck was just playing anything! Oh. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> Does this change your play at all, sir? I'll tell you right now, it does not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll drop. Yeah, yeah. I cannot fucking... Okay, you ready for me to really blow your mind? Yeah, go for it. I'll sack the token for Slip Rider. <laughs> Come on, man. BTS targets Slip Rider. Okay, uh, this can be targeted, so that's fine. Uh, battle. Oh, okay, I don't even know. I, I might not connect. You have... Oh, you there, don't have anything to Yeah, I'm going to fucking <laughs> bow here. <laughs> No farm girl equals no Valk. Uh, I have a back. I swear to God. <laughs> literally I crying. swear to Lord. I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Kaleido. Kaleido's fine. Okay. All right. Herald into Unicorn trigger Herald. Don't <laughs> you guessing. do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Fuck my disposition. I didn't think I'd get this far. Um, <laughs> I wish you didn't. Oh my god, my ribs. <laughs> oh lord, you have Valk. Sure. Uh, send you. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Clausulus. Uh, you know what? we're gonna get Unicor again. Cause it's at three. Yeah, it's fine. Wow. Where are we with this? One, two, three, four, five, we're six. We're tied. All right, we are gonna get nothing with that send you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna opt to not get anything? Yeah, I, yes. <laughs> I have no other out to this bullshit. Oh my god. It's not even like an out, I guess. Okay, I'll book your fucking Exiton. Sure. Sure. All right, trigger the slip rider. Yeah. Uh, Exiton zero. I'll get farm girl. Yeah. Uh, Bryo. Uh, we'll grab. That's interesting. We'll grab Unicor. Uh, sure. BTS target farm girl. Ooh, I see. Yeah, I'll chain her. <sighs> All right. Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Back to you, buddy. Uh, draw. He simply will not have another one. All right. I have to Valk here. Uh, the Bryo. Uh, second main. I'll just pass. Oh, I didn't gain my thousand life oh, points. Yeah, don't How forget. foolish. Yeah, that matters. Right, so unfortunately, I am above you. How the fuck do I out this card? The funny thing is that even if you could Exiton, I would just float into Slip Rider. <laughs> well, Slip Rider, I could deal with Slip Rider. I, I guess true. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Slip Rider's not as bad. Okay, this is annoying. Um, Senju. That's fine. We're going to go get Valk. I'm just saying, this is a much different game when I don't have, you know, all these other cards. Yeah, Mirror. yeah that's fine. That's fine. Uh, combat. If you just, if you, you know what, actually, no, I have to do this because if I pop them for Valk pre-combat, you go get fucking, I still have, I, I, I still have to do it. I, I have to pre-combat Valk. If I get fucking blown out by Honest, I just get blown out by Honest, you know, there's nothing else I can do about it. Valk attack. On. Ah! Yeah, that's fine. Second main. You did the smart move. You did the smart you move. You did the right thing. Yeah. All right, let's go Kaleido. Um... <clears throat> Kaleido. Yep. Activate Kaleido. Herald. Fine. Fucking defense position unicorn. <laughs> to not die. Uh, Herald. Get Valk. Valk. God, this is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, buddy. I'll draw. Uh, st I get my thousand. I get my thousand. Yeah, it's don't relevant. Forget. Don't forget. Oh, no, Trish. Yes. E Telly. <sighs> Maxi. Uh, I mean, something. Farm girl. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. This is the last turn of the game. Uh, I'll Valk. Oh, you, you fucking! I'll take the. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, okay. So now, I mean, I have to weed out the Valk, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll attack because you have to Valk here. You yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. So the problem is now because I e tellied this farm girl. So if I don't use it, I lose it. I know you've got some mirrors. You have two mirrors, actually, and you have two Necros cards. So you get every mirror in existence. Like, you can't even out one Forerunner. Do I really fucking care? Correct. You're out of Valks now, too, I think. I mean, you could cycle it back, though, so, like, yeah. that's not difficult. I'm just going to let the farm girl go. Okay. Um, Kaleido. We'll grab cycle, I guess. Uh... We'll use Mirror there, not Kaleido. That's fine. Prep rights. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. Bryo, Kaleido. 
Uh, Bryo. Sure it. So we'll go cycle here. Uh, we're gonna summon Valk by pitching Shuret. Yep. I right, only um, have Kloss as the target for this Shuret. It's still not bad. Uh, we'll go Valk here for sure. two. Oh, oh, those are interesting. Rhoda. It's good. Yeah. Grab. We'll grab Kloss. I feel like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go Mirror. Uh, we'll banish Kloss for Kloss. That's uh, fine. Set one. We don't even set one. That, that shit's going to slip right of prison. Well, if it's honest, it's honest. Damage step? Yeah. I don't have it. Uh, I'll take 100. Activate. Finally, I have outed one Forerunner. Uh, who do I get here? You've got some uh, big dudes. We'll <clears throat> go for Good Witch. Yeah. Uh, second mate. Whoop. Uh, back to you. Uh, okay. I'll draw. Wow, first uh, time we're seeing that. BTS the whole in standby. Preemptively on the Good Witch, so I can't <laughs> set your Valk, huh? I don't Interest. want you chaining this motherfucker out to her own effect so that I can't BTS it. Very smart. Very smart. Do I have a response to that? That's fine. I don't think I care. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't like hearing that. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Cosmo Town. Oh no, this is the first time we've seen this. Cosmo Town's fine. It is. Uh, so we've got a couple in the banish. Let's see again how much I really want to shuffle back here. Not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, so let's fire Cosmo Town. We're gonna get back our farm girl. Seems good. We will take 300 damage. <laughs> oh, see, there's it's a meaningful cost. Uh, we'll use the second effect of Cosmo Tome. Yes. So we're going to mulligan any number of Cosmos. I guess I should reveal them, but uh, the audience could see them. It's Farm Girl, Slip Rider, Forerunner. Oh, jeez. Wow. So okay. I'm just going the, I'm going the distance here. No fear. And we'll draw three. Uh, interesting. Yeah, pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, stand by main. Oh, the best card in my deck. Oh, thank you. All right. Can you just show me that uh, honest you ripped off the top there? <laughs> uh, no, actually. I'll take 11. Okay. That's a little strange to me. I was say, you probably weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> no, I really wasn't. Um. All right. Uh, let's go like this, and we'll go back to you. Macro. <laughs> what is that? The third breakthrough? Could spin? be anything. Yeah. All right. We'll draw. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Uh, let's go Cosmotone. Yes. I will get the Slip Rider back, and I will take 500. That's fine. I will normal summon Good Witch. Yeah. <laughs> Attempt to activate her effect. Yep. Uh, we will pay five. Mm hmm Nothing here, huh? Nope. Ah, uh, actually, I don't know if I'm going to go for the Valk. Hmm. Don't like hearing that. What the fuck else are you setting in this deck? Uh, I will set the class Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, activate to tag out. Yeah. Slip rider, pop the back row. It was Rhoda. I'm out of targets. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. That's banished. Battle. Yeah. Attack. <sighs> yeah. Damage step. Uh-huh. It's not honest. It's <laughs> limiter removal. <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So what did we learn here today, buddy? This is an unwinnable fucking matchup. I don't know why. I get, like, it makes sense why people brought Necroz to this event. Uh, The reason they brought it is because the set released the day before the event. Maybe you couldn't get your hands on. I think Farm Girl was the chase at the time. She was. She was an ultra, and I think she was like 40 bucks a copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. No, yeah. It, it, unbelievable. I mean, I, I'm playing like main deck Danko Seca in order to beat Seteller Knight, right? <laughs> like, it, it, it's just a list that is not, um, it, it doesn't work for this format. And uh, I, as we'll see, you know, the, the one downside to Cosmo during this period was that there just weren't enough names. Uh, you're, I think, yeah. maxed out on every name, and that includes, like, the truly middling Good Witch. Uh, yes. Forerunner would eventually be shaved down to just a couple of copies as part of, like, a long chain that would come off of Dark mm -hmm. Destroyer. Um, at this point, you were really trying to fill space. Uh, the deck's on, like, Triple Jurigato, uh, Double Gores. Uh, you're on Dark Holes in the main, Seven Stars in the main limit a removal uh that's actually not terrible it turns out that uh 
if you have like 40% uh, of your deck available for tech slots and the only other deck you're expecting is Necroz specifically, you could do shit like play um, uh, Shared Ride. It seems good. Yeah, it seems great. I think um, it's interesting because this was a TCG exclusive archetype. Obviously, we don't really have any insight into the development process, but this feels like it was a direct response to Necroz, right? And that means that Konami actually needed to have foresight several years in advance of creating these cards that they needed to make something that was going to compete with Necroz. And again, it's not like this is the perfect answer to Necroz, right? It's good for what it's worth. I mean, there are so many of just, you can tell how targeted some of the little intricacies are with not just Necroz, but a lot of the decks from this time, right? The fact that Forerunner can't be targeted like the fact that good wit or not good witch uh slip rider just pops spells and traps uh it can even synergize with the deck's own field spell which then allows you to just like keep like it's when you start to analyze the other decks of the format you realize oh i see like th th it just feels like it was crafted for this format and i don't necessarily think that's a bad thing i think that's one of the cool things about being in the tcg i know we always complain that sometimes we feel like the ocg always has it way better we got to have these cosmo cards first like and this was already after the last tcg exclusive archetype being burning abyss as soon as we saw these first four cosmo cards we were already feeling like this archetype was going to make a splash and just like with burning abyss the first wave made the deck playable the second wave is what took it over the top and the same thing holds true with this deck as well once we get later on to dimension of chaos and dark destroyer oh man this deck just goes completely nuts by comparison but if this is the swan song for necroz i think people are finally happy to see this deck just get blown out for once if i'm being honest so guys that's gonna wrap it up for another video i really hope you all enjoyed let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support so shout out to shout 1317 tim 0x3 moto mbt play medulce cameron smith pony stark part 2 the Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Phoenix the Immortal, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Dylan Hunter, Cody, Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Little Fade Leaf, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet in Unit Tai Show, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Max, Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Simping for Simo, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Dalton, LG MBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel Cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. All yos, unis, the bus, the undertaker versus CMO and MBT, shrugs, x, the crystal beast enthusiast, ITF, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.